Today we're going to show you how to harvest collard greens. Welcome, my name is Sydney and this is the Naked Gardener Channel. After watching this video, I hope you'll learn how to uh, harvest your collard greens during and after the growing season. Uh, these are our Georgia collars that we have grown last year, and these were a big hit during our Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner. Uh, later on, uh, on the next video, I will show you how to cook uh, what I made for our, our family uh, during those holiday times. I'm going to show you how to pick these uh, collard greens while they are during the growing season. During the growing seasons, you don't want to cut off all the stems on here. Uh, that way it continues helping the, the uh, collard greens grow. Uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure you get some good, nice shears. You don't want to use any scissors. You want to use some good, uh, nice, sharp shears. And you want to take off a few stems. If you come in here, I'll show you. You just want to take a few stems right here. In there. your your uh, collard greens to kind of look uh, to continue help it to grow uh, and it's always good to pick these during the frost last night uh, we just had our frost it was about 28 degrees so these uh, will make it taste a lot sweeter now we'll go over and show you how to harvest your collard greens uh, once there's the growing season has uh, ended or once you want to clear out your beds. All right. What you want to do is you want to, once again, grab your shears. And if you could look right down here, you want to cut about, about a half inch to an inch of the bottom stem and clip it off. Look how pretty that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? And what we'll do, we'll do the same thing here. Grab it by the end and just clip it all off. This is why you want to use shears and not scissors. That way it won't damage the uh, whole root from there. All right. And then now we'll go in and show you how we prepare them and clean them off for harvesting to eat. Now we're off in the kitchen, as you can see. Uh, we took all the leaves off of the greens, off the stems. Now we're going to uh, basically clean them. Uh, with this, what this wash will do, it will allow the dirt and any insect that's on it to uh, be basically washed off. And so what you want to do is take a few of the leaves, put it in some nice hot water, and just give it a nice dose. If you can come in here just a little bit to see how I'm doing it. And what this would do is take all any type of excessive dirt off of here because you don't want to eat dirt when you're cooking these. And then you would just take these out. Put them 
on your board or wherever you're going to put them at and just continue with the process and take them out of where we're going with give them some nice water oh these look beautiful i can't wait to eat these up Days. This was a favorite pastime. His mom, mom Dukes would be cooking some greens almost all night because collard greens take a long time to cook because they're very nice and hearty. If uh, you kind of follow along from here, you kind of understand these kind of these steps that I'm going with. Comment down below by uh, commenting with "Let's grow together." Man, just collard greens and chitlins. Man, talk about some good food. Can't have it now. Trying to eat a lot healthier. And so, like I said in earlier, I'm gonna show you a vegan way how to cook these co uh, collard greens. I'll buy the, uh, just click on the link above and I'll show you from there. But take the last bit of these collard greens Make sure you get a good washing of them. In Southern families, you'll always, around Thanksgiving or any type of holiday, birthdays, they'll have some good, good collard greens. Sometimes they'll mix it with mustard greens or some turnip greens. My dad, he likes turnip greens. I like the crunchiness of the collard greens. So mom would always fix these just for me because I was her favorite. All right, and that's it. And pause. Now that we got uh, all of these out the sink, as you can see, we inspected making sure that there was no dirt or any bugs. We found one caterpillar on there, got it off. Found a few that the uh, water didn't get off, so we rested it again. And now we're just getting it uh, ready to chop up and then go from there. Now, some people don't know how to uh, cook greens, so I'm gonna show you a few ways how I do them. Like I said, the stems are pretty hearty hardy so you want to cut off the stem now you could throw it away but since i do my own composting i just basically put it in our little uh, tabletop composter and so once again you just take off where that meaty stem is meaty stem Together. And then you get that nice rib out of there. And then from there, you just take, after you do all of these like that, or you could do it one at a time, however way you feel, you just do it like a sushi roll. And you just chop it up and this way it, it helps it cook a lot faster because these collard greens will take a while but the smaller you put them at and they put up cut them up in the faster that they would do and see so you would put these in a ziploc bag and then just freeze them. You can freeze them up to three three months and uh, kind of store it from there. We're gonna cook these uh, today, however. In the next video, I'll show you how to um, cook it a vegan way instead of how uh, Southerners normally would do it with some type of uh, 
fatty salt meat, uh, smoked meat. Like um, yeah, normally, Southerners will show, uh, will, what we do is we'll cook it either with a smoked uh, turkey neck, ham hock, pigtails, uh, something of that flavor, uh, of that sort, uh, because that will bring out the flavor of the meat and the uh, vegetables and the salt of the smoke of that meat, cured meat, will also add into the of the vegetables as well as the greens. But uh, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, like uh, down at below of the video. We are going to put out uh, more videos each week and uh, comment down below if you would like to learn more things out in the garden that we can harvest, cook, or do whatever. If you have a family member or friend that might be interested in how to cook some greens or how to harvest some greens, uh, share this video with them. Uh, I also follow me on Instagram. Uh, the, I'll put the link down below. I put I post pictures daily on there of what throughout our lives and what's going out in the garden from there. Uh, until then, let's just continue to grow together.